guys, welcome back to SCLTV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and now joining me in the studio is Ambra Robinson. She's a cosmetologist and personal trainer. Girl, you do it all. A little bit. You stay fresh and you stay fit. Yes. yes. Tell us a little bit about what, what are some of the trends for the spring and the summer? Spring and summer hair would be easy hair. Mm -hmm. Easy to do, easy to manage, and easy to keep up yourself. Mm -hmm. So give us some examples. Some High buns, side buns, goddess braids. What's a fish goddess braid? Okay, you remember like old like? school when you used to get your hair braided, kind of those fat braids? Uh -huh. Basically, you just take that, whip around the front of your head, oh, the side, beautiful. goddess braid. Goddess braid. Okay, mm -hmm. what else? Do you said fishtail? The tail? fishtail braid. Mm -hmm. Just that's looks like the like a fishtail. Mm -hmm. Wear it down to the side, wear it pinned up, put a flower in it. Mm -hmm. Spring, summer, easy. Great. Easy. Now, a lot of girls nowadays are wearing their hair natural, with mm -hmm. no chemicals or relaxers and stuff right. like that. What are some good tips for, for the summertime for, for them? Natural hair? Mm-hmm. Like I said, easy is the key. Because, mm -hmm. you know, St. Louis is kind of hot. Mm -hmm. You can That's do something called a, a twist out. You um, just use whatever products you want to use, something with plenty of moisture, twist the hair up, untwist it in the morning, shake and go. Shake and go. Shake and go, pin up with some bobby pins and go. Kind of like what I have. That's fresh. Thanks. Now, what about other textured hair? You said buns and... Yeah. We're going to do a demonstration later on how to do a little something yes, yes. easy for the spring and the summer. Yes. Um, you, you not only do hair, but you do aesthetics, right? Yes, yes. So tell us some of, some of the services that are really popular for the spring and the summer. Waxing. <laughs> and why is that? Um, during the winter, people tend to stay a little hairy <laughs> to keep warm. But now that it's warming up, people want to remove that hair, leg uh -huh. waxes, bikini waxes. A lot of that is huge now because spring break and the summertime vacations. Brazilian waxes. Mm -hmm. A little intense, yeah. but they're worth it. Um, <laughs> eyebrow waxes, every, anything that you have hair on can pretty much be waxed. Wow. Facials, that's really good. It's keeping your skin hydrated, coming out the winter time, losing mm -hmm. moisture, all that good stuff. Yeah, speaking of skin, so it's now spring and summer. What's a way to like keep our skin glowing, get that summer glow for the summer and spring? Uh, one thing that I do, mm -hmm. Tibby, that I, I sit in the shower, uh, I let the shower run, let it steam up, and I just let the steam hydrate my skin. Another thing, bronzers. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be too bronzy. You don't want to look like the orange Oompa Loompa type guy. <laughs> right. But you do want to bronze. But it's right. nothing that's too metallic. -y. Something that looks natural. T-zone it up and go. So our tans still end for summer? I mean, you know, because the Jersey Shore and the orange and like people I'm are not, tanning. I'm not I with know. it. <laughs> but to each his own. Right. I'm, I think a natural look, a natural glow is what you should go for. But some people like the orange look. Me personally, mm -hmm. no. What are some of your favorite services that you provide that makes you happy when you do that and you see the customer and they're just like, oh my God, I feel so beautiful. I would say hair color. Mm -hmm. Hair color is something that I, I really love because um, it allows you to show your artistry mm -hmm. and um, just to put your hand on someone, you know, like your, right. your touch, so to speak, and just to be artistic. I love hair color. Now, she's a cosmetologist. Yes, ma'am. You are an esthetician. Yes. And a personal trainer. Yes. How do you do all of that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some five hour energy, a little prayer. <laughs> yeah. Now, personal training and hair, a lot of women, they don't like to work out because they don't want to mess their hair up. I know. What are some tips that you have for? Well, first, you shouldn't choose hair over life. <laughs> you <laughs> right, know what I mean? Right. But stuff to keep your hair up. For people who wear straight hair, mm -hmm. you can always do pin curls during your workout. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to wear a scarf during your workout. Mm -hmm. You just take a little curl, pin it up, and put a bobby pin right in the middle of the curl that'll keep your hair going. Um, natural hair, you, you can do the same with natural hair. Mm -hmm. You can twist natural hair up. Like all the old school stuff, mm -hmm. I think we should go back to it because it's easier to maintain. Mm -hmm. Like the fat twist braids you used to wear as a little girl. You can do that during your workout just to preserve your hair. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we have a lot more coming up with Amber. She's going to give us, um, uh, she's going to show us how to do a little something on the next segment. You guys don't want to go anywhere. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You have to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more STL TV.
Hey guys, and welcome back to SCL TV Live. I'm still here hanging out with Amber Robinson. She's gonna tell us, or show us a little trick, a fishtail braid. We have our beautiful model here. This is Dara Nicole, if y'all didn't know. Designer, boutique owner, Delmar Loop. So, Amber, you're gonna tell us how to do a fishtail braid. A uh, fishtail braid will consist of two parts taking small segments from either side. You can start with, it doesn't matter. And you just add it to the opposing side. Right. So how long does this take, about? Me? Uh, about 45 seconds. <laughs> Somebody else getting started, I don't know. No. About a few minutes. Yeah, long. so not like an hour. It'll no, take you 10 no, no, seconds no, a couple hour. minutes. Yeah, just a couple minutes. So this is one of those easy hairstyles that you were saying. Absolutely. That, you know, people can wear in the spring and the summertime. Yes, also, to work out, right? Yes, and it's still cute and trendy. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Now, talking about healthy hair and working out, what are some tips to remain, you know, healthy hair with working out? Like drinking water, what else? Um, vitamins are important. Mm -hmm. uh, your hair is comprised of predominantly protein. Mm -hmm. So you want to get sufficient amounts of protein in your diet, fish, healthy protein, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, drinking plenty of water and uh, shampooing often enough. How you don't often want do, you, do you recommend the shampoo? I say twice a week. Mm -hmm. Ethnic hair. Um, Caucasian hair, I would say every two days, mm -hmm. max. Some do, some do it every day, mm -hmm. but I'd say every day is too much. It's, it's stripping the hair too much. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you have a bachelor's degree in health management, health exercise management. science. So now, mm -hmm. what made you do both, like the cosmetology as well as health management? Honestly, they both are the same kind of sort of. Mm -hmm. um, with fitness, you physically change a person but you're also psychologically changing them. Like they they come to you with different issues and wanting to make, you know, certain lifestyle changes and reach certain goals. So with that, um, it's the same with hair. Mm -hmm. With hair, although you're giving them a physical change, you change them psychologically. And when they feel better about themselves, when they're more confident, they exude a different energy into the world. Mm -hmm. So Great. I kind of like them both. I just like people. Aw. And look, you're done with the braid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's done. Let's there see, we're going to take a quick look at it. This is what's called a fishtail braid, guys. It's easy for the spring and the summer. Very pretty. You look really boho chic right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, where can we find out more inform information about you? Um, you can go to amberrobinson.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, Twitter, my name is Audacious Dreams on Twitter, and I'm Audacious on... Audacious Dreams, where does that yes. come from? Um, I, I dream big, uh -huh. and I have the audacity to dream big, so wow. Audacious Dreams. And I'm on Facebook, Amber Robinson. Facebook now your, pers your personal training, um, you have classes. When do you have your classes? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday night, 7.30 to 8.30 at Fitness with Anika. And what kind of workouts do you do? What can we expect from the uh, workout? It's a boot camp class. Mm -hmm. A lot of that word <laughs> scares people, but it's not that tough. You know, I do um, resistance training and cardio, mm -hmm. and it's usually on a circuit. So, so what about somebody who hasn't worked out ever and they're afraid to do the whole? I customize it. Okay. You know, I don't make you uh, do as much cardio as Michael Phelps would do. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, I do challenge you a little right. bit. So, I, I customize it. I don't hurt people. I, I reach them where they are. And what? Where can they find you at the salon that they can find you at? Uh, Mark Stevens Gallery, mm -hmm. located at 3319 Olive. Mm -hmm. uh, very colorful, eclectic, beautiful, artistic place. Great. Thank you so much for being here Thank today. You. Thanks, Dira. This beautiful fish tail. You guys want to hook up with Ambra? Check out all her social networking sites. Um, the information is also on the screen. You don't want to miss it. You also have a hair show coming up pretty soon, huh? Yes, next couple months, Mark Stevens Gallery will be hosting a hair show at the um, Demetrius Foundation. So now, what kind of hair? Is it like crazy? Like It's going to be avant-garde uh -huh. and some everyday hair as well. Great. So you can expect some everything. So you got a lot coming up. You guys want to make sure you um, check out Ambra's uh, website as well as the salon and the personal training classes. Guys, remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You got to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. If you really want to experience St. Louis, you have to watch STL TV. We're coming right back with more of the show, so don't go anywhere.
Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and I wanted to tell you about an event. As one of the largest food events in town, Riverfront Times Iron Fork event showcases our city's finest food in one evening. More than 1,250 guests will sample food from 30 of the city's tastiest restaurants, all hand selected by the RFT's food critic Ian Brope. The event also features two exciting competitions with four of the area's top chefs and 12 of the area's best mixologists. Guests will also enjoy live music and food and good spirits, all, the support, all, all to support a great cause. A portion of the proceeds from Iron Fork will benefit the St. Louis Area Food Bank. For more information, check out the RFT's website and click on the Iron Fork link. Remember, to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back.